The back of your head look ridiculous. What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today we're gonna go over some of the most popular WTB mountain bike tires. So if you're watching this video, you've probably heard of WTB, also known as Wilderness Trail Bikes. They've been making awesome mountain bike parts for, I don't know, probably longer than I've been alive. I have no idea how old they are, but it's a very old company because I remember having their grips on my bike when I got my first mountain bike, which was a long time ago. I'm a very old man these days. Anyways, WTB has recently dove into the tire market. I don't know how long ago they did. I think it's been a little while they've been into it now. So the cool thing, there's just other companies coming up. There's there's more choice in the mountain bike tire world now, which is really nice. Um, now that I think about it, WTB actually has been making tires forever. They used to make those Velociraptors. I don't know if you recognize those, but you probably had those on your 26 inch wheeled mountain bike 15 years ago. Um, so yeah, now that I think about it, WTB is making tires forever, but they haven't been making amazing tires that really compete with uh, the big dogs until the last few years, at least as far as I know. Um, and we wanted to go over some of the most popular models that they make. They do make a ton of different models and it's really hard to decipher those and which ones you might need or you might wanna try out. Um, we've done this type of video looking at the most popular tire models for Maxxis and Schwalbe as well, if you're interested in that. But as for WTB, mountain bike tires specifically, these are the most popular models that we sell the most of, and these are sort of the latest and greatest runs. They've been continuously making revisions to them and making them better and better. They've got uh, a number of pros out there racing on these tires, doing really well. Um, we've been riding them at the shop. I've had a, a number of different bikes with WTB tires on them, um, and I love them. It's, it's pretty cool to see WTB sort of really challenging those big dogs out there, and it's cool to support a smaller brand that uh, is, is challenging the big dogs when it comes to tires. So. Without further ado, let's get into the tires. Um, I'll start from the most aggressive to the least aggressive. Uh, the most aggressive here is being the Judge. So this thing right now I think is just available in a 2.4. Um, as you can tell by the tread pattern, this is a uh, fairly heavy, strong, durable tire with massive knobs on it. Um, this thing really is to be pretty much a downhill bike tire, but uh, a lot of people are sort of running what used to be exclusively for downhill bikes. They're now putting them on their trail bikes and enduro bikes. Um, sometimes even like XC-ish style bikes are running like big fat tires like this because people just love traction. So that is kind of confusing how many different bikes are running different tires these days, but the Judge is meant to be a super high grip, big burly beast of a tire, uh, really popular, extremely good cornering knobs, and just if you want the most possible traction and you're riding a bike that makes sense to have 2.4 tires, the Judge is right up your alley. Um, a little bit lighter and slightly less aggressive, but still pretty darn aggressive, is the Vigilante. So this thing comes from a 2.3 all the way to a 2.6. Again, you can put this on a trail bike, uh, an enduro bike, or even a downhill bike. Um, this Da Vinci's got Vigilantes on it front and rear right here. Um, this would typically be reserved for like a front tire only most of the time. You could probably run something that rolls better and is lighter in the back if you wanted to. Um, it's super personal preference. I personally like to run something that's a little bit more uh, high grip in the front and a little bit lighter and less grip in the back. That's just what I personally like on my bike. So I'll usually do something like a Vigilante in the front and a Trail Boss in the back. That's one of my preferred setups. But this is uh, our mechanic Liam's bike. Um, he's got uh, Vigilante's front and rear on it right now. He loves that setup. A lot of people definitely are enjoying that setup. But Vigilante, um, pretty burly beast of a tire. Um, not quite to the judge, but very versatile and something you're gonna see on a lot of trail and enduro bikes. Next step down, Trail Boss. So Trail Boss um, is available 2.25 to 2.6. It's uh, much smaller knobs than you're gonna see on those two tires. So again, we're getting 
more from like the downhill to the cross country in that direction. Uh, Trail Boss, this is uh, definitely got some good aggressive corner knobs. They're not super tall. It's got a really good uh, close knit knobs in the center so it rolls really fast. So this is an amazing rear tire. I haven't seen too many people put this as a front tire, but this is a great rear tire to complement a front tire being a Vigilante or a Judge. Um, you've seen these on a bikes that are i guess they're not plus if it's 2.6 right i think plus is like 2.8 and above but uh this thing in a 2.6 you could run it front and rear is a pretty cool setup or if you're running like a uh 2.6 vigilante and then a you know 2.4 something trail boss in the back again great rear tire to complement these two but most commonly used as a rear tire because it rolls fast and it just makes more sense for that um, the Riddler. So the Riddler is, uh, man, it's, it's very much a do it all tire. It's similar to the trail boss as far as like the, the corner lugs, but it, it's got a really, it's almost like a semi slick almost there. Uh, really tight packed center knobs rolls extremely fast. They make this thing all the way from gravel bikes, all the way to mountain bikes. So a 37 C. So it's like a 700 or a 650 by 37 C all the way to a 2.4 in the mountain bike size. Uh, again, most commonly a rear tire on a mountain bike, but this can be a front and a rear tire on an XC bike or a gravel bike. Uh, super versatile, but again, this tire is more uh, baked around um, fast rolling, which is why it's got those really low uh, knobs in the center, but it's still got good high corner knobs, so super good grip when it comes to cornering. Uh, next up, the Ranger. So these things are 2.25 to 3.0, so you can actually get these on a plus bike. Um, this goes all the way up to 3.0. These have pretty small knobs. So when you look at the knob, the knob height on this and the way they're laid out when you compare it to something like the Judge or the Vigilante, these knobs are a lot smaller, a lot more low profile because it's more designed around um, just, you know, they want it to be fast rolling. They want it to be a lightweight tire. And the cool thing about plus bikes, right, is like if you have a 2.8 or a 3.0 tire, you can run sort of smaller knobs like this so they roll fast, but because you have such a wide tire with so much air volume, it still hooks up really well. So you might start seeing, you know, commonly you see on plus bikes, you don't see something like this on the front of a plus bike because this tire in like a, if they did make it in a 2.8 or a 3.0, it would weigh a ton and it would, oh man, it would be insane how much traction it had, but it'd probably be too heavy. Um, so you see something with smaller knobs like this that rolls faster and gets really good traction as well. So that's sort of like more on the plus bike side, 2.8 to 3.0. Um, but this thing is available all the way down to a 2.25. So um, great tire for cross country if you're running, say, like a 2.25 front and rear. Um, great rear tire to complement something this direction as a front tire or even just a great plus bike tire. So very versatile in that sense. Last up, the Nano. So this is a... This is more of like sort of XC specific tire. It's got uh, fairly small knobs all around, uh, a super good pattern down the center, so it rolls extremely fast. Um, the idea behind the Nano is really just fast rolling, lightweight tire. Um, and obviously you wanna try to get as much grip as you can out of it, even though uh, it only goes from a 40C to a 2.1. So they make it for gravel bikes, they make it for mountain bikes. Um, it's lightweight on the mountain bike side. You're probably only gonna see this on cross country bikes and nothing else, um, but it's, it's probably actually more common. I've seen these things on gravel bikes. Um, it's an awesome gravel tire because it actually rolls really good on the pavement um, and still manages to get awesome traction when you're actually in the dirt on your gravel bike. So awesome gravel bike tire, which is the Nano. Um, that's about it for WTB tires. I mean, well, that's not about it. There's a ton of other models, but these are the most popular ones that we're seeing people ride that we're riding here at the shop ourselves. And uh, you know, if, you, if you're looking at and considering WTB tires, I hope this video helped. Um, these are the ones you're probably gonna be looking at. They have on their website a ton of video content on each tire that talks about the different tires. It is really hard to figure out what tire uh, you need these days because there is so many options and there's so much like cross compatibility and people are putting downhill tires on XC bikes and it is confusing for sure. One of the easiest things that we always tell people, just bug somebody who knows. Um, you know, we talk to people all day on the phone and through emails, helping them with what tires they should buy and recommending what tires they need. Because a lot of it does have to do with your bike, your preferences, um, and of course your terrain, right? If you're riding in dust versus mud, um, you're gonna want a totally different tire for that scenario. If you're you know, uh, a bigger rider and you happen to ride in rocky train and you tear sidewalls a lot, then you want to consider um, different sidewall thicknesses, which is another thing. 
All these different brands offer different compounds and different sidewall thicknesses, which change the weight and the durability of the tire. So that's another thing to consider. So um, that was a general overview on these things. Uh, there's gonna be a blog below that talks about these things more in depth and the different sizes and the different compounds, all of that. Um, again, if you're confused still on which ones you wanna try out next, uh, hit us anytime. Uh, just email us, info at Worldwide Cyclery, or give us a call, 805-375-4525. Uh, we talk to people all day, every day about tire setup and are happy to help make a recommendation for you guys. Uh, let us know in the comments, are you using WTP tires? Have you tried them yet? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Uh, do you prefer another brand? Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one.